yet again. 38 to 20, and Jordan Love couldn't start it any better. Free base won nine in a row against the rival. Oh no! We suck again. All right, so I'm making this video a few days after the Bears game on Sunday because I didn't want to make this analysis post game breakdown thing just based on my emotions because not gonna lie and I'm pretty sure a lot of you other Bears fans can say the same thing we were angry and a lot of us probably went it went to our head a little bit too much and maybe we weren't thinking things that we would normally think maybe some exaggerations here and there but it was not good that game was horrific I mean there was almost nothing that went right there were a little bit of positives i'll go into that a little bit more but that game for the most part 99 percent of it at least was complete garbage now i don't want to make this video too long because honestly i can go and make this whole video an hour long talking about all the bad things that need to be switched up people that need to be blamed and everything but i'm gonna try to keep this hopefully under five minutes long but to kind of summarize i think everybody just messed up all the players the coaching staff, everybody, the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator, the head coach, the GM, Ryan Poles, this game showed that we were not prepared to face the Packers. And even though they don't have Aaron Rodgers, they have Jordan Love. And mind you, Jordan Love had a great day. He had a terrific day, but he's not Aaron Rodgers. He wasn't making, you know, insane throws like Patrick Mahomes or, you know, like Aaron Rodgers, like how we're used to seeing him do. You know, he wasn't doing anything crazy. He wasn't throwing his receivers open. We had zero pass rush, and he had all the time in the world to throw the ball to his wide open receivers because not only could we not rush the passer, mind you, we had two pressures all game long. Not two sacks, two pressures all game long. And on top of that, it's not like our secondary did any better either. Once you allowed more than three seconds of pocket time, he's just going to dot you up. And that's exactly what happened on Sunday. And I was at that game. Trust me, if you could feel it right away. That energy died so fast, especially right after the first touchdown. Now, obviously, it's a little early, you know, just not one drive in that we could just be saying, oh, we lost. But just the energy died so fast because we knew right away and it was very apparent that our O-line and our D-line were not ready and honestly did not even get fixed all offseason long. That falls on Ryan Poles. Having all the cap space in the world, having all the draft capital, and we did not fix the two biggest issues on our team, which was the offensive and defensive lines. How does that happen? How do you have that much to work with and not fix the two biggest issues on your team? Now, this doesn't mean because of this loss and because of our issues that these are going to be a consistent issue all season long. At least I hope not. It doesn't mean for sure, but it is a red flag definitely because it could be an issue all season long. And if that is, I promise you guys, this is going to be a long season. And Justin Fields obviously did not play great either. You know, he's not void of any criticism either. He did not play great. And obviously there was a lot of plays that he would have taken back, you know, balls that he should have thrown out, holding the ball too long not processing the game fast enough not processing the defenders the defense in general you know there were a lot of issues that he had but he was not the main issue and honestly he wasn't even the biggest issue or mostly the issue i put most of this blame on just the coaching staff both the offensive and defensive coordinators specifically luke getsy and alan williams i'm sorry but their seat is red hot i would understand if we lost this game let's say 21 to 20 or it was just a low scoring game like yeah we didn't have the greatest game but there were at least some flashes here and there or enough flashes to where you could say maybe it's just first week jitters but it looked absolutely horrendous and what makes this worse is that luke getsy he knew what worked last year we literally saw justin fields go crazy for almost a month we had the highest scoring offense in the entire nfl even when we were losing all those games we were putting up points against good defenses and yet for some reason we regressed and went backwards and almost went back to like a Matt Nagy type kind of scheme where we're just not using fields to his strengths. No QB design runs, no deep shots at all. Those are the two things that Justin Fields excelled at and we just didn't use them at all. We didn't even use DJ Moore either. Come on, you trade for DJ Moore and you don't use him? Two targets? That's all you get? I don't care if it's Jair Alexander covering him. Scheme up plays for him. And then on the defense, man, Allen Williams, what are you doing? You have all these new pieces, Tremaine Edmonds, TJ Edwards, Tyreek Stevenson, the rookie. You got Yannick Ngakwe, you got Demarcus Walker. And yeah, we don't have a Micah Parsons on our team or a, a Jalen Ramsey. You know, we don't have a Sauce Gardner or anything like that. But we have some decent pieces in there. 
and we still look like last year. We didn't change much at all. That is inexcusable. So I believe the two biggest people to blame here are Alan Williams and Luke Getzey. And if they don't fix it up by at least week four, I could honestly see them being fired. As sad as that is to say, that early into the season, especially after one game, that performance was just terrible. I really hope we fix it up in week two against the Bucks. Obviously a much easier team, but still their defensive line is so much better. I'll get into more of the pre uh, pregame preview with another video, but I just want to talk about this game, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Are you in or out on the Chicago Bears? Let's not overreact over one game, though. Let's keep that in mind real quick. I probably should have mentioned that first, but we're not going to overreact over one game. Anyways, I'm out. All right, and nobody's blocking. Ooh.